Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another boring math video here in Wonderlands. Today, I'll be going over all of the regular weapon damage skills and show which are additive and multiplicative. I'm going to make one video for each skill tree as the primary skill tree. So in this case, I'm going to focus on being a primary clawbringer. I'm going to show you the weapon damage bonuses here and how they are applied with each other skill tree. So if you enjoy this and or find it helpful, a like rating is appreciated. And if you want to sub, that would be great as well. Starting off, we're going to do the Clawbringer tree with the Stabomancer tree. For the Clawbringer, the only weapon damage skill is going to be Firebolt. Of course, we have element bonuses here and there and critical damage bonuses. But right now we're going to go over just weapon damage. In this case, Firebolt gives me an 8% to my gun damage. Additionally, Deadeye, you can get gun damage increases. So, in this case, I have 4%. So, this weapon deals 880 base damage, as you see in the weapon card. 880, with the 4% increase from the myth rank, and the 8% from Firebolt gives me 988. Now, let's go ahead and apply some skills from Stabomancer. We're going to get Arsenal. We're going to get Swift Death, we're going to get Exploit Their Weakness, and we're going to get a thousand cuts. Now, one, two, three, four weapon damage skills here. Arsenal, it's going to be additive with our Myth Rank. Swift Death is going to be additive with a thousand cuts. And that's it. These two are additive. This is additive with Myth Rank. And these are just multiplicative with everything. Okay, really quickly. We're going to have 880 damage from our weapon. We're going to apply the Firebolt increase. So 880 multiplied by 1.08. Multiplied by the addition of Arsenal and Myth Rank. Arsenal and Myth Rank together give me 19% gun damage. So multiplied by 1.19. Now this is where we have to explain some of these. But I'm not going to fully break them down. Just really quickly, Swift Death is going to give me 10% at default walk speed. So if I walk, at default, I get 10% increase. Right here, critical hits increase damage dealt for the duration. I get 1% per stack, and I can get 25 stacks. So, if I hit 25 critical hits, I'm going to get 25 stacks times 1%. That's 25% increase. It's additive with Swift Death. So that's a 35% increase. So we multiply by 1.35. And finally, exploit their weakness. Damage increase is 6% per unique status effect. I can get a total of 5, so I'm going to get a 30% increase. So multiplied by 1.3. Now, how am I going to get 5 stacks of these and 25 of these? Very simple, with this crazy Queen's Cry, I'm going to hit a bunch of critical hits, and a bunch of status effects are going to happen. I'm going to get all the bonuses that we need. Anyway, in total, we're going to have around 1,984 damage. And let's go ahead and get the stacks first. We're going to get 25 stacks down there, and we also need the status effects stacks. If we walk, default speed, 1985. So yeah, that's how this works. Keep in mind, I will be making separate videos for each of those, so if you still are confused about one of those weird perks that I just showed off, let me know and I will be breaking it down individually with a lot more detail. For now, we're just going over multiplicative and additive bonuses. Next up, I want to go over the Berserker tree combined with the Clawbringer tree. For this tree, I'm only going to go over the old ways. This perk. This perk is basically personal space. So, the closer we are, the bigger the bonus damage. And max damage at very close range is 30%. And that's basically multiplicative with both Firebolt and our Myth Rank. So 880 multiplied by the increase in Firebolt, 1.08. Myth Rank, 1.04. Finally, multiplied by 0.30 or 1.30 whenever we're up close. That's going to give us exactly 1284. And that's it. Uh, we also have area damage here. Of course, this is only going to affect weapons with Splash, basically. So we're not even going to worry about this. Just know area damage does give you a multiplicative increase. Icebreaker. Icebreaker is basically like that Icebreaker class mod. You will get up to 10% against frozen enemies. I will make a separate video for this one. 
Moving on, we're going to go over the Graveborn tree. In this case, we have Faithful Thralls. Faithful Thralls will give us a 9% increase in damage per companion. So, I have two companions, I'm going to get an 18% increase to my damage. And like I said, I'm not breaking down these skills, I'm just going over the percentage increase to my weapons and showing off what's multiplicative. So, I'm going to get 18% from this, which is going to be multiplicative with both Firebolt and the Myth Rank. So, Firebolt, 8%, so 880 base damage from the weapon I'm using, with the 8% increase, with a 4% increase, and finally with the 18% increase. Should give me around 1166 damage, as you see right there. And now the only other perk that we need to go over in this tree is going to be Lord of Edges. Now this one, based on your health, you're going to get more damage. So the lower your health, the higher your damage. The max damage you can deal with this is 25%. And this is actually additive with a bonus from Faithful Thralls. So just a super quick example that I'm going to show on pre-recorded gameplay. Here, I don't have any perks chosen, but Lord of Edges. I don't even have Myth Rank yet in this gameplay. So basically, my weapon deals 511 damage, and with this amount of health left, with Lord Edges equipped, it went up to 627 damage. That means I got a 22.7% increase to my gun damage there. And like we said, it's additive with Faithful Thralls. So what I did is now equipped Max Faithful Thralls, that was 18% gun damage right there. So I added 22.7% with 18%. That was 40.7%. So when we apply a 40.7% increase to the gun damage of 511, I was getting 720 damage. So basically with that gameplay, I determined that Fateful Thralls and Lord of Edges is additive. Now we're moving on to spell shot and in this one I don't want to go too into detail because I do want to make a specific video for weapon damage on this tree. But basically with spell weaving you can increase your spell damage by 10% per stack. You get a stack for reloading or casting a spell. So max stacks is 5. That is 10% per stack. You get 50% spell damage. Now if I equip this skill right here I get gun damage based on the increase to my spell damage. So 45% of increase to spell goes to gun. So in this case, if I get max sex, that's 50% increase to my spell damage. 45% of that is 22.5. So that's a 22.5% increase. And this is additive with Firebolt. So 22.5% plus 8% is 30.5%. So it's going to be our regular gun damage of 880. Five stacks, so we're gonna reload five times. It's gonna be five stacks of spell weaving. Gives us that nice 22.5% increase, which is additive with Firebolt, 30.5%. And then we apply the bonus from our myth rank, which is 4%. And it's going to give us 1,194. If we go further down the tree, we can apply 30% spell damage right here. And like we said, this increases our damage from our weapons based on the increase to spell damage. So in this case, we have an additional 30%. That was 50% from spell weaving plus 30%. That's 80%. We need to take 45% of that. So 45% of 80% is 36%. So we're getting 36% thanks to this perk right here, magic bullets. 36% is additive with firebolt. 36 plus 8% from firebolt is 44% increase in gun damage. So 880 with the increase from myth rank, so multiplied by 1.04, multiplied by both Firebolt and this are additive. Like we said, it was 44%, so multiplied by 1.44. Should give us around 1,317 damage. So first we need to get those five stacks that we have right there, and we get 1,318 damage as you see right there. Then we also have high thread count, but we're going to skip over this one. This one basically gives me three more spell weaving stacks. So basically, instead of five, we get eight and it's 80%. With this, you t with magic bullets, you'll take 45% of 80% or depending on how many stacks you have, really. But we're just going to skip over this one since it's basically the same thing. You're just adding more stacks. 
and we're gonna go over to one slot one kill basically you gain increased gun damage per stack of spell weaving so if we get four percent per stack max stacks is five that is twenty percent and this is also additive with uh, magic bullets and fireball before with max stacks we were getting 44 percent with magic bullets glass cannon firebolt and the spell weaving everything combined that was 44 percent there but now we're going to get an extra 20 percent thanks to this that is 64 percent so it's going to be 880 with a 64 percent increase and then the four percent increase for myth rank that's going to give us around 1500 damage so we're going to hold this no we're going to reload for five stacks there we go and we get 1500 damage and that's basically it for this street you also have like bonus gun damage here whenever fate maker scores a critical hit with the spell this she deals bonus gun damage of her gun's element that's actually not going to be present for your gun it's going to be present on the spell itself when you shoot the spell you see some gun damage pop up i'll break that skill down on its own later and then we also have this one whenever the fate maker casts a spell her guns deal bonus damage of the spell element so basically that's bonus elemental damage which again i will cover in a separate video now we will be going over the spore warden with the clawbringer tree okay so basically in this tree we are going to have a few perks we're gonna have eagle eye medicinal mushroom called shot and head hunter and of course we also have firebolt and myth rank so how does the damage formula work here with gun damage it's going to be our regular gun damage multiplied by firebolt multiplied by the medicinal mushroom increase which is 15 percent multiplied by these that are additive eagle eye called shot and myth rank are additive and then finally multiplied by headhunter headhunter only applies to headshots so whatever your critical damage is going to be with the weapon if you get this you get a 25 percent increase straight multiplicative and now let me explain these two perks real quick they work a little bit weird this one you only get 15 percent increase when you're revived by your mushroom for duration of 10 seconds and in this one you gain 5.3 percent per stack max stacks of 10. and by the way the gun damage you get is not exactly 5.3 it's like 5.25 so the numbers might be a little off okay so how we're gonna do this we're gonna down ourselves so we can get revived by this mushroom then we have 10 seconds to get some stacks of called shot so for that reason we're only going to do five stacks of called shot so five stacks times like we said this is lower let's just say times 5.25 percent we're going to get 26.25 percent bonus from called shot that like we said is going to be additive with eagle eye and myth rank eagle eye is 20 percent so that's 46.25 plus our myth rank that is four percent that's going to be a total of 50.25 percent between these three additive skills so we're going to be dealing 880 damage with the increase of the additive bonuses like we mentioned eagle eye five stacks of cold shot and myth rank which is 1.5025 which is a 50.25% increase multiplied by the increase of firebolt, which is 8%. And finally, multiplied by medicinal mushroom, which is 15%. That's going to give us around 1642 damage. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to purposely down myself. And this little guy is going to come pick me up. after that we should have all our bonuses until we get five stacks down there remember aim down size for five stacks five let's go 1642 and for anyone confused of what i was doing there i went down to get 15 percent from medicinal mushroom and called shot gives me 10 stacks but the stacks are when you are aiming down sights and in the bottom of my screen under my health bar when i aim down size you see i have two three four and i shot at five stacks which gave me that 1642 and that is basically it i covered every possible gun damage bonus combination when it comes to the clawbringer as your primary tree so i will be doing this for every single tree as the primary 
because of course we still need to see what's additive and multiplicative when you see Stablemancer with the other trees or the Spore Warden with other trees in there. So guys, if you guys want me to cover anything specific, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. For now, I'm just going to end the video here. If you enjoyed, please go ahead and drop a like. And if you really enjoyed, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.